Today is part one of our dollhouse living room challenge. My mom and I are at it again to see who can win this design challenge. At the end of part two, we hope you will leave your vote for the best living room in the comments. All right, let's get crafting with my mom for part one of our dollhouse living room challenge. You can visit our blog to get the printables for this project. The link is in the description box below. Okay, let's start with the floor. Cut two 23 by 15 inch pieces out of foam core board and glue them together. You'll need around 100 5 8 by 6 inch craft sticks. Cut off both of the round ends. I'm going to use a mix of two stains to get the color I want. First, I take the golden oak stain and stain one side of the craft sticks. Let it dry. Then I do a second coat with early American stain. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area or outside when you do this. Then I hot glue them to the floor. Make sure to stagger them as you go. Once they're all glued down, I seal the floor with two coats of polyurethane and let it dry. Use the wall dimension printable and the window cutout to cut out your back and side walls. Cut out your walls, center your window on the wall using the measurements from the diagram. Cut it out. Trace around your first layer to make the next. Glue both layers together. I always use two layers for my walls so they are sturdy. Take your curved window pattern and cut and tape it together. Cut out the red and blue pieces. Cut four or five strips a fourth of an inch wide. Take your large trim pieces and place it on the pattern. Take a strip and cut it for the center line. Turn it on its side and glue it into place. Cut and glue in the number two piece next. Don't forget to turn each piece on its side. Cut and glue in the number three piece next. Continue to follow the pattern to cut and glue in the rest of the pieces. Take strips of white paper to cover the foam on the lattice. Glue on piece seven and eight. Then you can take clear plastic from packaging and cut the window pane. You can use a picture from a magazine or a calendar for a background. Glue everything together and glue it onto the side of the wall. Use the same technique to make the back windows and glue them in place. Starting with the back wall, glue it to the floor. 
Then glue on your side walls, making sure they line up with the back wall. Cut and glue on the ceiling. And the ceiling strip. Using the trim diagram sheet, cut out the strips to size. Starting with number five, the front trim, place it on, making sure it fits all the way to the floor. At the top, you will need to trim it at an angle with the roof, then glue it on. Do the same to the other side. Number six, take your three-fourths strip Place it on the top front of your ceiling, making sure it's snug to the roof where it meets the trim. Cut an angle and hot glue it on. Again, do the same to the other side. Number seven, take three half inch strips for your floor trim. Cut the back 23 inches and glue it in place. Cut the side pieces and glue them in place. Number eight and nine, use a half inch strip for the crown molding on the two side walls. You will need to cut and measure one end on each piece at an angle and hot glue it in. Number 10, take a long half inch strip and cut it 23 inches and glue it at the top back wall for the crown molding. Number 11, take another half inch by 23 inch strip and hot glue it on the top of the crown molding. Number 12, take three eighths inch piece and cut it. Cut two nine and three fourths inch. Glue them to the top back of your crown molding. Number 13, take your five 16 inch piece and cut two 10 and a half inch and glue them in the corners. Number 14, take your three fourths inch piece and cut three nine and five eighths inch. Take the three pieces and cut one end at an angle. Glue them five and three fourths inch apart on the ceiling. Now for the fun part. Let's decorate. I'm going to add my fireplace from another video. And of course, I'm adding my Bailey chairs. I adapted my chair pattern to make a matching sofa. I bought a candle stand at the at home store. I added four beads to make legs so it would be taller and then I painted it white. Add a fig tree and some artwork and you're done. We hope you enjoyed part one of our dollhouse living room challenge. Make sure to subscribe today so you don't miss part two of our challenge. You can find us on Instagram at Poppy Seed Mini. Like, comment, and share with your friends. And have fun crafting.